Welcome back, guys. I am out today at our other property. So, it's like I told you before, I don't like to go in on all these properties often. So, at least at the minimum, I leave it a month. And then, you know, sometimes I'll even leave it longer, two months or whatever, before I go back in there. But, we haven't been in here in a month. This is Uncle Mark's, where I killed my buck this year. And, uh, I haven't been in here a while. I'm bringing some stuff to officially get some of our deer stands set. And, pull, moving cameras. So, tomorrow's August 1st. There's going to be a shift in the bucks because the bucks, um, what a lot of people don't know is, when it gets to August, they stop growing their antlers. And they actually start hardening them and it can change their pattern like that. And so this is when you actually might get new bucks and you might lose the bucks that you had on camera. So I decided this property we have mineral out here. Um, I mean, I don't know how much is left, but I'm actually not even bringing more mineral out. Mainly because we're really just doing this for inventory. And we should get a good idea of what's out here. And honestly, this spot's more of a rut spot anyway. Since we can't really, it's only like 12 acres of woods here. And only like an acre wide, so we don't really hold deer that well. So, I'm going to move cameras more to our water holes and uh, food plot areas. And uh, see what's coming into those. And then also get some stands set. I got two seats we got to put out and some some foam on the shooting rest. So, I'll show you when I get to this first spot. But it's a nice cool day. It's been raining, so I figured it's a perfect time to sneak in, get this done, and then get the heck out of here. So I'll show you at the first food plot and we'll see how much the deer have eaten the mineral and what the food plot and water hole looks like. Well folks, I just got to the first place. As you can see, there's our hang on right there. I just spooked a bunch of deer off the mineral pile. A bunch of deer. Like four or five.
behind that one right there in the middle there are like three behind him. One real man. Alright guys, so I'm finally moving out here. That was absolutely insane. I've never had that happen to me ever. I mean, I'm whispering now, but those bucks are way scooped. That was eight velvet bucks. And, I mean, it looked like every one of them was close to Pope and Young. And then there were two, I think two mega deer that were like the size of the deer I got in Kentucky. I've, I've never had that in my whole life here. We've been on this property forever. We've gotten good velvet bucks, but usually it's only like one and a couple things. I mean, that was literally eight really, really nice deer. So, I'm kind of mad. I'm really mad I spooked them. I really wish they wouldn't have been there. And uh, could have just checked the car at home. But, hey, stuff happens. I mean, it's 11 o'clock. I thought I was safe, but I know it is a nice day out. But the good news is it probably means they're pretty comfortable. Or they were. Oh, God, that was insane. But we're gonna we're gonna get out of here. <laughs> and uh well we're not getting out of here. I'm going to my back part and I'm hoping that's just as good. And I'll put a mock scrape there. Hopefully I don't spook stuff. And hopefully there's some big ones there or the same ones are there. And uh we'll see, but oh, I'm still in shock. I've never I, as you can tell in the video it's kind of really thick in there. That's where those deer are coming from. Um, so, gosh dang it, my heartbeat's still thumping out of my chest. All right, folks, I'm sneaking up here because I'm all kinds of paranoid now. Not that I expect to see a bunch here, but. So, checked. It looks like that's been getting hit. I come up to the stupid camera, and this is card error. I know when I left that camera, it was working fine. So, I don't know. I might have just had another camera mess up on me and missed out on more photos. But anyway, I cut a vine right there in front of this. You see that stand there? There's a vine already hanging down. And so, I cut it where it's just hanging right where the deer are entering the food plot. And have it hanging right there for a mock scrape. And then I just started putting a bunch of preorbital clay on it. And then I moved one of our rope scrapes and put a bunch here. And there's our other stand there for hunting a different wind right here at about 25 yards. So we got two mock scrapes, a mock scrape on each side of the food plot. We got our water hole. We're going to come in and fill this in with more food plot seed in a month. And then we should be good to go. So let's check out this other stand real quick. All right, folks, that was the last stand I need to work on right for right now. So I need to put some gun rail stuff on there so we don't bang on metal. But that's about it. Um, I'm going to leave, and I might go look at those camera photos. And if I, I get back, I'll get back with you like I did last video and show you what I have on camera. So stay tuned. Well, folks, I uh, just got out of the shower, 
and just looked at my camera photos. So, um, the back camera, I checked just a bunch of does and some smaller bucks. And then obviously I checked the camera that spooked, as you see in the video here, all those bucks. I do have those bucks on camera. I'll show you some photos right now and then I'll get back with you and uh, just go over the photos. So here they are. So, uh, as you can see, I have some of those bucks on camera. I mean, there were like eight of them there. So I think I, I only have like three or four different bucks. Like, so we have that one tight basket eight. There's another wider eight. Then there's the bigger buck, which I think he, which we got him in June. I think he was in the group today and he looked like he must have blown up. I'm sure he was one of the big ones. And then I got that funky one that's got like a drop time, which is pretty cool. Um, but unfortunately, it looks like today was the first day they all bunched up like that, and we're all gonna be right in front of my camera at, like, I would've had eight big, nice velvet bucks all in front of the camera today, but I was there. So that's a huge bummer, but we got in there, got that stuff. I hope I didn't spook them out too bad, because it'd be awesome. I just replaced the card and uh, just got out of there. Uh, the camera still had two bars of battery life left, so let's pray that they all are still bunched up and come back in. I didn't spook them out too much because it'd be awesome to get. I've never had that many on camera before. I've always had like two or three, which is what we have, but never that many. So that was awesome. But I mean, there's some two or big ones in there. And I think one of the ones, with those ones we had on camera in June, I think he's one of them because he only came through once with those bucks. And then that was it. And I think that was him today. And he must have blown up pretty big and got really big frame. So... That's my scouting at Uncle Mark's, and uh, if you guys like this video, please like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks.